But if they're in time for people when we say they just they watch this show to catch the business matter, Fagbo Frank, do your soundbite. So that's what they happen for the world of business, Fagbo. Fantastic one, Oye. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, yeah. Well, see how it fits. You know they laugh. How you did this morning? don't rest. I did. Fagbo, when you so, need some major things they happen right now mm. for our country right now. And uh, if you notice, um, CBN just released one secular. And based on the secular we said CBN released, they told they freeze the account of like six different... Um, um, fintech FX. companies. Mm. And so if you reason the matter, knowing fintech fully well, companies. Say this, exactly, fintech oh. companies, knowing fully well, say, we the struggle for this part of the world to make sure, say, and some people get employment. We need to find out why they target those particular fintech companies. No worry. No go anywhere because in a couple of seconds, you go find out everything exactly. about where they happen for the world of business. All My right. name is Fagba Frank. Now, we'll go straight into some of the stories where they hot for inside the world of business. The first story we will get for you be say, CBN don't come out, don't talk, say, if you they abuse the Naira, say, oh boy, say they will come for you. Now, abuse of the Naira, meaning say, they talk, say, if, they, say, if you abuse the Naira, say, you, 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 if you go, if you pay fine of 50,000 Naira, and if you spend six months for inside jail. Now, when they talk of abusing of the Naira, they talk, say, when you spray the Naira irresponsibly, when you carry the Naira, they match them, when you tear them, when you do some kind, um, things where we say, no day very, very, things where we say, no day Sane based on um, the law with the guy that are currency. They talk say if you do anyhow, you do any lao lao with the naira. Talk say if you spend six months for inside jail or if you pay fine of fifty thousand naira to bail yourself. Now from one business matter, enter the matter we say we'll get also for here. CBN don't come out. They don't ban six. Um, they don't freeze the account of six fintech companies. Now when I say fintech companies, it means say now these companies they in charge of some kind of investment where really they happen for the capital market. If you from your comfort of your home, buy shares for the capital market, foreign shares, foreign stocks. Now they don't look and say they ban all these com all these companies. They they freeze their accounts based on some ma some mago mago way they happen for the for for um, for inside those companies. They talk say they realize say they they trade FX. They they do some kind of illegal FX transactions with um, some kind of funds and now why they freeze their account. But then. If you notice, if you be the, if you use one of, if you be any of their, if they be any of your broker as an investor, they go don't send you mail. You go don't find out. Say okay, they they face this matter. But as an investor for inside some of these companies, for inside some of these fintech companies, it they very very sure. Say your money they save. But at this point in time, they they try see how they go use maneuver the matter for inside courts. But then. Eh, We'll give you we'll, we'll give you or we'll give you up to date stories as to everything where they happen based on that matter. No go anywhere because we enter our business takeaway segment. And this business takeaway segment, we get one of boom get guests. Man, we stand back Gedi Bar for the world of um, for the legal world. And the man na na, na man we be say stand back Gedi Bar for business na business lawyer lawyer and na start startup lawyer. So you don't want to miss anything where we get because we get to discuss about how to make sure say you do the right thing when you register your business and how to make sure say you choose the right business name as an entrepreneur. Don't go anywhere because in a couple of seconds we'll come back. Cheers. I tell you, say we get a bone get guess, we be say stand back for the world or for the legal world, especially when it comes to business. Now, startup lawyer, the man, we be say understand a lot about the loopholes for entrepreneurship. So, you go guide us through as to how to go around your business registration. But apart from business registration, based on say, you feel understand how to register your business and go CAC. But then you get some other things we say you need to understand as an entrepreneur, how to choose the right business name as a business person, waiting to go around, around business, things to avoid. You go give us. Breakdown as to things we need to understand. You're very much welcome, uh, Mr. Omori. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for assisting me with, with, with uh, pronouncing the name. Yeah, um, you're very much welcome. Welcome to our famous couch. Yeah. So basically, um, we, 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 won't, we won't talk about business registration. We won't mm -hmm. talk about um, how to choose the right business name as an entrepreneur. What be the steps we say as an entrepreneur? You need to make sure say, you, know, you, you guide against when you choose the right business name. Um, for the yeah. world of business, you know, I go try this PG matter. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, say the first thing yeah. before registration. Now the name where you want to do the business. Okay. You know, without the name, you know, <laughs> your name comes first. Very you, true. Like you call my name. Uh, so name day very very important. Yeah, you know, it's it's essential that um, the name way they use is your primary identity. Okay. Uh -huh. So. 
Now, it be the first thing to pick. You know, say, I wear two caps. One as a lawyer. Okay. Um, very experienced, knowledgeable one. Okay. But also as a certified entrepreneur who has, I, I like to call myself a legal preneur. So, okay. a mixture of both. Um, there are two considerations. The first one, uh, legally, you know, there are three stages. You know, okay. you have general names that you are free to use. If you use those names, like. you know, once you enter the names, they are reserved, they are fine. And then you have restricted names okay. and prohibited names. Um, I don't know whether there's this, the, one of the biggest chocolate companies in the world mm. um, used to be called ISIS. Hmm. You know, um, one of the biggest, you know, and that was an acronym for Italy and Switzerland. Okay. You know, where the founder was born and where he lived. But after some time, and he's been, he, he done this since 1923. But after some time, the last 10 years, as a result of this uh, Islamic State matter yeah, and all that, people stopped is, buying yeah. their chocolate. Hmm. So they had to change their name to Libert. You know, and a long, a general, decades, almost a century of identity gone. Hmm. Now, so name take the importance, you know. So legally, you have restricted names. Okay. We be say, not be say, you know, if you use those names, but before you use those names, you got to get approval from government. You know, for instance, now, I delete for Lagos State. I know if you just say, okay, um, my printing press, I go call them Lagos State Printing Press. Hmm. As a private individual, I don't get that level. Very true. You know, but if I be Lagos State official and now the state wants to set them up, all we need to do now to write federal government say we want to set up Lagos State printing press and we will register them. In fact, with the new petroleum in, uh, industry bill where they don't enact now, that NMPC yeah. will come become a private company. They go Very register true. them for CAC just like uh, every other company. Very true. You know, but private person no fit do that. Now government now you go still. Okay. Do that registration. Yeah. You know, so that one day. Yeah. You know, and then you have, you also have, um, you also have the names that are prohibited. Yeah. That means names where they're offensive. Okay. You know, fit use those names, you mm. know. Um, imagine, say, a person wants to start up business, can't call the business Boko Haram, Nigeria Limited. Imagine. You know, they no go register because the name is offensive already because of certain things, yeah. you know, and because of the security challenges we are going through at the time. You know, or as Wazobia Day now, yeah. I, I like Wazobia. I say, okay, Wazobia, okay, I can't go set up Wazobia Media. Hmm. Because we'll the name, yes, because the name is conflicting with your existing name and trademark, it cannot go through. Okay. So these are the legal considerations. Okay. You know, they are the gener general names that once you pass through the process, you can register. And then there are those names that you need approval for, restricted names. Okay. And then there are the names that you cannot register, the prohibited names. Okay, so basically some entrepreneurs will just feel, say, okay, since um, I don't want to go through the stress of picking a name, I will just carry my name, use as my business name. What think you say be the advantages and disadvantages of using your own personal name you know, for your brand? You know, eh? Yes. The law says if you are not putting any addition to your name, mm. like you want to deal as Frank Fabo, that's yeah. fine. You can. But once there's anything like Anko or services, you must register them. Mm. It's always important to register because when I be large organization, when I get vendors, you know, say, Vendor will come say when the work finish, say okay, pay me and he give you a name, a mecha okoro. You go say, ah, go and get a corporate account. We are a corporate organization, we don't pay individuals. Very true. So that is one thing. So you stand to lose when you are dealing in your personal name. Hmm. Dealing in a corporate name gives you a corporate image, perception, you know, and that corporate personality go con day, you know. And then, you know, I tell you, I wear two caps. On, on the entrepreneurial angle, exactly. when you want to pick name, yeah. you know, they get certain things where you're supposed to look at. Okay. You know, you know, go just say, just pick name. It's something, like I said, name, name, they're very important. So you got to think and well. Very true. First of all, and most importantly, you've yeah. got to pick a name that is easy to understand, easy to remember. Yeah. Catchy, not too generic, but catchy. Okay. You know, where we say, People go remember, see BBA now, they talk a bag, everybody they hear a bag, a bag, you know. Okay. You know, that's, it, it's catchy. 
you know and then you also pick a name where they extensible mm. that allows you to grow allows for futuristic development and growth so, so if, if you want scale, yes okay. if you want scale so if for instance you register come maybe you want to do um uh, you want the big bread and then you can't register frank frank bakery or no frank bread company yeah tomorrow you want come they do catering mm. or you want come they do um uh, uh, you want come they sell food and do things in, in, in relation to that field very the true. name go inhibit you very true so pick a name that allows for futuristic expansion even yeah. though the law does not allow you use one company to do two distinct businesses say they do catering you won't do transportation you won't do oil and gas law no they allow that one okay it must be within the same sphere okay you know but a name that's extensible allows you to grow a name will not be copy copy no go see another person named copy am mm. because it go open you up to litigation the people go sue you Very money true. where you want to take build your business you go can't take and they pay lawyer okay so know, for uh, it's speaking about suing um, one company suing another company because mm. of um, legal identity because of um, mm -hmm. identity corporate mm. identity and all that how much within you say be the consequences based on your experience for this field um within be the consequences how if how much it is some people they pay as fine if you carry some people go inside jail or within be the consequences as an entrepreneur and as a lawyer well he, um disputes regarding name na civil matter so okay. not be criminal matter so okay. issue of jail and the likes no go come up okay. but what is even more important is that when it can cost you even your business. Hmm. It can cost you a lot, including your business, if you copy a name that's already in existence. Okay. First of all, the people will get, they go write you waiting with the call in law, a cease and disease letter. Okay. You know, lawyers like me, they charge plenty of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they go, they go wait with the call cease and disease letter. Okay. You know, where, and then, if there have been certain things that they have infringed on, then if you even ask for damages, they will carry you go court. Hmm. You know, so the matter are plenty. Hmm. The matter are plenty. Not okay. the headache where you want. You know, say so when you start business, as a start, I always tell startups, as, yeah. as a starting, you need to focus your energy on building the business. Thank That's you. That's why you much. need experts. You, thank you very much. You don't talk. I'm saying you need to focus your energy on building your business and that's why you need expert you need people who say will make you see 10 years from now as exactly. a person we see you to build your business where your business go do in the next 10 years build that brand build that identity carry that name make sure you say okay it will help you in the next 10 years it will help you in the next two decades and all that and that way you build multinationals we see go transform the economy my name is Fagba Frank and if we continue the conversation um, for all my social media platform at Fagba Frank we will continue the conversation on top business name registration. No go anywhere. You know why? Because the Good Morning Nigeria show continues.